Good day, beautiful viewers. You are welcome once again to your favorite program, our program, The Conversation, coming to you live from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name is Nelson Ekujumi, and I have here with me in the studio, Comrade Benga Sholoki. Comrade Sholoki, you are welcome to the program. Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you for joining us on The Conversation today. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, like we all know, The Conversation is a topical issue conversation program in which we look at uh, recent happenings both in Nigeria and in the diaspora. And the top of the bill is uh, an ongoing development. If we remember, the top, the number one item we are looking at today is the Federal Ministry of uh, Internal Affairs uh, investigative uh, panel report on the allegation made by uh, Idris Okunaye in that video uh, released by uh, very dark man, in which, uh, in the audio that a very dark man played in his video, Idris Oknoye was heard saying that um, he spent his time outside the correctional center, that he was housed in a flat somewhere outside the correctional center because his godfather spoke to the uh, controller general of prisons. Uh, but from developments before uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs set up a, a, a committee to investigate that allegation based, uh, that was headed by the Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Internal Affairs. Some of us had our doubts because uh, we got feelers of what really happened. And uh, lo and behold, because it was uh, a slap on that agency of state, the Ministry of Internal Affairs under the federal government had to institute a probe into that uh, a scandal that you know that uh, vi uh, video in which we had that audio, and uh, the panel came up with its recommendation, with its conclusions, mm -hmm. and one is that Idris Okunaye spent time in the correctional f uh, facility that he lied in that audio, but the committee found some officers of the correctional center culpable for negligence and abuse of procedures uh, that he was given some privileges, including having an inmate who was running errands for him. He had access to TV, to fridge, that there's this suspicion that he even had access to his phone. And uh, I don't think that is in line with the, in the, with the protocol in the correctional uh, centers. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, one senior officer was uh, uh, indicted for receiving money from the former pension boss, Maina, and uh, he claimed that uh, that money was to buy drugs for the young man who is serving, you know, his prison sentence, his uh, correctional service sentence there. But uh, the, com the panel found him, indicted him because the panel said, even if you are to receive money from somebody for health mm -hmm. issues, it should not be into your own personal, personal account. So. Uh, you know, when this issue came up, and uh, some of us, we suspected that uh, Idris Okunoye was on an extortionist agenda in that audio. Because you remember I said uh, the EFCC waived his uh, money, money, money laundry charge for 15 million yeah, naira, yes. and you and I knew for free that prosec prosecution or prosecuting agencies many a times can decide to amend the charge, either increase it or reduce it. So we are waiting for the EFCC to come up with their own uh, investigation uh, report. Yes. So uh, the issue out there now is that, one, we have gotten a clearer picture to two of the cases. You remember he accused uh, Falano and Falano and Femi Falano yeah. of... Uh, uh, demanding 10 million naira for presidential oh, pardon. pardon yeah. And uh, Mr. Fem Falan SEN went to court mm -hmm. and the court gave a judgment in his favor yeah. that he should pay him 500 mm -hmm. million blah, blah, and uh, what have you. Yeah. Retract the, uh, the publication, yeah. bring it down because he has, it has done irreparable damage to, the, his, uh, to, the, to his reputation. So, the issue about... Um, the Nigerian Immigration Service, I think one thing we can draw from the um, uh, panel report is that we must commend the Minister for Internal Affairs, Mr. Mm -hmm. Olubumi Ujo, mm -hmm. 
for acting swiftly mm -hmm. to remedy what will have been a national embarrassment. Because I've seen it severally where people will say it is only the poor people that get to serve their sentence so in the correctional facility that yeah. the big men don't. don't. And I've told them, whoever cared to listen, because we live in a society today where people run with things that are unfounded, without basis, mm -hmm. just because it suits you know, their yeah. own narrative. Yes, yes, yes. The, you know, they, everybody wants to paint government as bad, bad, bad. And I, I tell them, this government that we are painting bad, we portray people serving in government as sit as uh, agents of uh, darkness. I said, but we voted them. We, you yes, and I went yes, to the poll yes. on election day. We voted them. Yes. You see, on this uh, uh, Idris uh, Okunai okay, yeah, matter, yeah. firstly, let me, like I've already said, let us commend the Internal Affairs Minister for that wonderful job, especially the committee for coming out with that damning report. Yes. For damning yes. to have indicted their officers to have even hold up to the fact that truly he served his jail term as an inmate. Yeah. But, but one yeah, of our yeah. officers compromised yeah. and he was given these privileges. Yeah. Let us comment Absolutely. the ministry. Absolutely. Yes, for that honest, for, for, for that honest, for hold, open, yeah. holding up to the yes, responsibility yes. that our officer messed up the thing. That's transparency that's, and accountability. accountability. You understand? So, but be that as it may, I don't think. The minister should wait and uh, should stay on that. That the officer so called indicted must be made to face the full wrath of the law because he has compromised his oath. He has messed up that office he presently occupies. So, one, it must be shown out. It's not just being shown out, it must be used as scapegoats to others who are also compromising our processes. You understand? It is not just to say, yes, not to come up and say, yes, he has, he has humbled. No. Let us get to the root of it, number one. Get to, to the root of it. Show the man the way out of that uh, service so that, that it will serve as deterrent to, 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 to others well, to people who, who like my service. Not only in the correct no, service, but also in other services. agencies of yeah, uh, yes, government, that, in public office. Yes, that's number one. Number two, um, uh, the, 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 thank God Mr. Falano has gone to court. But my own grouse is this. Mr. Falano has not, he has just written, uh, Bobrisky, that's it. This is one of it. The first thing he dragged, very, very dark, dark man. man. Yes, you know, it's like saying the messenger instead of the message. You are dealing with the messenger now. It is, I mean, it is a is the corporate, it's the one who mentioned your name, except you are not very sure. Now he has gone there. So now it is for Mr. or Mrs. Okunaye to come and prove. He's a Mr. Please don't go, <laughs> don't, don't go there. He's not a Mrs. Or so Ms. Okunaye, it is, uh, it to is. come and tell the world. What happened? Because if you remember, Mr. Falano, Falano false, clearly, sincerely admitted said, admitted that, that, that he called conversation. The John, that the man, the man in question, it is Okunai Bobrisky, requested for a load of three million naira, which is undeniable. So it behoves on Mr. Falano to also expedite action on getting Bobrisky behind the, 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 the bars. If, yeah, if no, I it. disagree with you, Benga. Okay. You know why? You know why I disagree with you? Okay. Whatever Idris Okunaye did with Falani Falano, yes. or by extension, oh, which Mr. didn't happen, yes. Mr. Femi, Femi Falano, Falano SEN, yes. we know he never contacted uh, Mr. Femi Femi Falano, Falano SEN. Yes, yes. He contacted Falani. Falani yeah. That's uh, popularly known as Fals. Fals. The issue at stake now is that whatever the guy, uh, Idris Okunaye said, Idris Okunaye was not the one that brought it into the public space. So Idris Okunaye has not committed any crime in... I don't think... I, I wouldn't agree with you. Okay. Because except unless we are saying that is not his voice. No, no. You know, if you, Who wait, brought wait, it out? Wait, he didn't wait, release wait, it. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, okay, I'm coming. Okay. Even for soliciting. Mm. For mentioning the fact that his godfather yeah. will do those sort of things for him to circumvent the law. No, because that's another. That's you know, another. I'm angle coming now. there. I'm coming there. Yeah. So if you are saying that's another, angle, he said it by himself. I mean, yes. We, no. are, we, are, we, have, we have not said he, that's not his voice. Yes. He has not denied the fact that he said that. You know, he first denied that that was he, no, that was, wasn't his voice, and, and that was that was why the Mr. Savalan did not falsely agree with him. Yes. So that was why they dragged uh, very, yeah, very dark uh, uh, to court. Yes, you yes, understand? Yes. And the court expeditiously, uh, uh, expeditiously. expeditiously granted his, his yes, request. So I'm saying I'm, I'm of the opinion that. Aside the, aside the fact that um, uh, uh, this man, very dark man, brought out this matter to the public forum, yeah. he has said us. 
He has said to follow us. Because ordinarily, do you know how many people have such does as uh, you know, contacted with such narrative? Okay. Either uh, wrongly or rightly. Uh, 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 comrades, fellow key. Yeah. You see, my own understanding. Yeah. You know, this is the conversation yes. we are pointing out our minds. Yes. My own understanding is that one. In the case of Mr. Femi Falano and Fulani Falano, Falano yes. they cannot sue him for criminal acts. Ah, yes. They can sue him for libel and slander. Yes. But you see, Mr. Femi Falano and Fulani Falano cannot sue. From my own understanding, they cannot mm. sue Bobriski. Idris, Idris Okuneye Bobriski. Because you know why? Bobriski was not the one that made it public. It was a private conversation. So if, for example, if, um, uh, as we are seated here now, whatever conversation we make on the phone, so long as you don't divulge it, mm -hmm. if somebody has divulged it, and that conversation does, I can prove in court that that conversation has done irreparable damage to my reputation, mm -hmm. then I will not sue you that I had it with, because you didn't release it to public space. Is the person that really the way very dark man or oh, Okune? Uh, it is Okune yeah. also has a problem now. Is with regards to that allegation against the Nigerian then what, National then, then, then if you can wait, then if you cannot hold him responsible for 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 for, for not reporting it, then why are we acting? Why are we acting on, on, on what he said? Then why are we acting? No. no, we should have acted. No, 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 Mr. Nelson. Yeah. If you said because he did not bring it out to the public, mm. then we should not act on what he said. He no. claimed no. You see, the uh, very dark man played the role of a whistleblower. Yeah. Uh, Idris Okunaye said EFCC collected 15 million to drop money laundering charge. EFCC, EFCC is investigating that. Yes. Idris Okunaye said his godfather contacted the Nigerian Constitutional Service Controller General that he served his time outside. It means Idris Okunaye lied against NCS, Nigerian Correctional Service Center. He allied against them. He has brought their image to public dress reports. Then we can also charge him for incitement and attempt to cause, cause a breach of public peace. But you see, with regards to Mr. Falano's case, what Mr. Falano, the matter between a uh, very dark man now yeah. and Mr. Falano is about damage to his reputation. It's not that the uh, very dark man has committed a criminal offense. It's about libel. You know, that that uh, publication, because the, oh, that, video. Uh, that video was be why Mr. Falano will not sue uh, Idris, is mm -hmm. because Idris didn't make it public. But a uh, very dark man, you recollect that one of the reasons why that video came out, that audio came out in very dark man video, was because somebody claimed Idris collected money from him or her. Yes, I feel to pay I, I has refused to pay. pay up. Yeah, yeah. So, now, fr from what is that on ground now, like we have said, the Nigerian Correctional Service, that's the uh, Nigerian yes. Ministry of, uh, Federal Ministry of uh, Inter Internal, Internal Affairs, Affairs yeah. have done the needful. Yes. And uh, on the platform here, me, I'm also in, in tune with your position that Idris Okunoye must be made to come and face the law no, for that... Incitement. Well, that's, that's incitement. incitement. That's incitement. Then, for the EFCC, we are waiting for them to also come what and tell us what their what own. We'll find but is. we know for free that the agencies of states have a, have a power, have the power, power to amend charges. Of course, of course. If they it's feel done, done. we have 100 charges and we can get you with only one. Or, or, or we have convincing evidence yes. on, in one. on one. Other are not really they, are not, they can decide to, 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 to push that in order one, to save the time, the time of the court. court. And, you know, yes. so, so we cannot really rule out the fact that yes, that's what has happened. Yes. Money matters not have changed. We, hands, yes. But just to incite, just to create a, a, an impression of, of uh, wrongdoing yes. against agency of agencies. Of, because the EFCC is our image. Yes, Everybody yes. looks up to it as yes, an institution yes. of the Nigerian people yes. to fight corruption. So, if it is uh, alleged to be involved in the mm -hmm. same act, mm -hmm. <laughs> he to, is to, fighting to, against. To, to. So, you ask, where who will now who will <laughs> save us? So, for me, uh, I think uh, the EFCC will come up with its own findings. We have solved, solved the the uh, Nigerian Correctional Service matter. Now, yes, yes. it has been done and said to that. I think Nigerians can see that Idris Okunaye lied about serving his sentence outside, outside the correctional service. The, yes, yeah. it's a lie. 
it has been proven that he served it because he came up with all his records. But in coming up with that findings, that committee was, did a thorough job yeah. in even exposing their own. their own officers who compromised their oaths to give the guy some privileges that we, you know that breached the protocol. It, it's not that there are no privileges in prison yes, in no. correctional service, but there are protocols that, that must be followed. Yeah. They breached those protocols. That's what we are. That's what we must commend that committee for coming up with. And you know we expect that. Those officers of Nigerian Correctional Service who have been found wanting will be made to face the full route of the law. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we want to call it a wrap on this first stanza of the program. We'll go on a short break and we'll be right back. Please continue to stay tuned watch, and watch the conversation coming to you from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned. <laughs> 